I love the area. Gramercy is great. I worry about the hooker trade over on Lexington. Uh, that's uh, been pretty much cleaned up. I don't think so. Although, to be sure, I have a friend who's a detective I can ask. It's a great building. It's a candela building, which means the, uh, the 12 foot ceilings, the crown moldings, the gallery. It feels old. It is old. Told you Norman wouldn't go for it. Allie, I'm not ruling it out. It's okay. Just gonna take one last look at the master bedroom, then we'll go. Now I'm the bad guy, right? Mr. Reese, yeah, I, I've uh, only just met you, so I won't presume to tell you uh, what you should do here, but uh, one thing I've found in my life is that vis-a-vis -vis the person I live with, if they're not happy, I'm not happy. Well, that does go both ways. Well, when it comes to uh, things like where you live and, and what the place looks like, my experience is that making a woman happy, when I've been able to do that, <laughs> That's something I've never regretted. Let's go. We'll take it. You don't have to do that. I know I don't. I want it. Really? Tell the seller that we'll write up an offer and have it over to them by noon tomorrow. Oh, thank you, <laughs> baby. Thank you. <gasps> thank you. You just made yourself in the neighborhood of $17,000. Get out of here. Two and a half percent of the sale price, less overhead, split 50-50. No, no I, I'm not going to take money out of your pocket just because I happen to show up. You closed the deal. It was your deal. Hey, you're taking that money. No, I'm not. Now, now, this was fun, but it was a fluke. I mean, if I started doing this for real, it'd be different. What about doing it for real? I don't know, Bridget. Right, maybe we should just have a drink and talk about that. Yeah. Meantime, see if you can't close another deal. 